Hi, it's Lin here. So, Shingeki no Kyojin Season 4 is officially complete. At this point, I don't know if this was just part 1 of the season. I have no idea if there will be a part 2. I kind of hope that there will be, and I'm willing to wait for it. At this point, I'm still only up to episode 9 of season 4. Have I been exposed to any spoilers? Surprisingly, no. It turns out that if you stop searching for Shingeki no Kyojin content, the internet will stop recommending it to you. With that being said, I wasn't able to escape this. Someone's twisting my baby boy's arm, and I have no idea who it is, or how this came to be. I don't even know which episode this pops up in, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's not a scene that makes me mad, because you know that I'm always gonna side with Armin. He's the only smart one there. It's been quite a while since I've watched Shingeki no Kyojin, so let's try to remember where episode 8 left us off. Hmm, okay. I remember that Gabi was the biggest murderer, and I was very sad. I'm still sad. Let's not talk about it and just begin with episode 9. <laughs> so, Armin's talking to someone about what happened three years ago. <laughs> Look at how gentle he is with them. Look at how gentle that is. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. <laughs> Except for the bit where she tried to prevent them from reviving Armin and just wanted to leave him for dead even though all of Erwin bright ideas kind of came from Armin's contribution, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm on the road to loving her again. <laughs> Dang! I have a feeling that we're going to love her. There's our own Yanko Pon! I see that Zeke's already got to them. Sasha's still alive here! Let her rest, Mikasa. She's been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Just let Sasha be happy. She deserves everything. こうやって何発も撃てるわけか。それらがマーレ兵の基本装備です。マーレに故郷を奪われ、兵士として徴用された我々はとても非力で導かれるまでは。マーレや世界の人々が悪魔と呼んで恐れる巨人。私には全く別
fair warning, we only have potatoes and meat on this island, and we're all out of coffee beans. So, if you've got any that weren't blown up by our big friend, the Colossal Titan, over there, we'd love it if you could just hand those right on over. Thank you very much! <laughs> でも海の向こうにいる人たちは敵だけじゃなかった。そして世界はずっと複雑で知らないことだらけだった。おにゃんぽこんはなんで肌が黒いのですか？Oh my God, Sasha, you can't just ask people why they're black. Why does <laughs> why does this face give me? You know what they say? Once you go black. Vibes. なんだよこの料理。Yes! Sasha got her food moment! Where was Sasha's big food feast moment? Where was everything that Sasha deserved? She got it, guys! <laughs> she got it! Thank you, Niccolo. You're my hero. Thank you for cooking food for our little freak. Thank you for showing her that there's more to life than potatoes. There's spaghetti, pasta, fried rice, mussels, lobster, whatever that is. So yeah, at first, we didn't have a good relationship. But when it comes to time, we can get to know each other. このままユレナたちの作戦通りに進めていいのかな。本当に地鳴らして世界を脅すことでしかエルディア人を守る術はないのかなって。それじゃ本当に世界を恐怖に陥れるは悪夢だ。Our baby boy has a point. As always, he's a good egg. でも仲良くなれたマーレ人もいる。何人だ。ほとんどのマーレ兵は収容所の壁を睨みつけてんだろ。I understand where Eren's coming from. He doesn't have the luxury of being as optimistic and as forgiving as Armin. Not only did Eren get completely traumatized from this, he's also got to deal with the whole mass load of memories that came flooding in from his dad, Eren the First, and all the other attack titans that came before him. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a bloody great question. Please enlighten us, Isayama. Did it really have to be Sasha? Flock was standing right there. Why couldn't you just kill that guy? <laughs> No, Niccolo, it wasn't just food. You loved Sasha, and that's all we could have ever hoped for. I'm so sorry for your loss. We feel it too, bro. <laughs> Even though Sasha's gone, Niccolo's still gotta check with his competition. Kony and Sasha were soulmates. It didn't have to be romantic. They shared a single brain cell. <laughs> Niccolo, you're such an angel. Look at him wanting to cook for Sasha's family. For free. So, let me get this straight. You went to Mali, you lost a whole shitload of soldiers. You lost this guy, you lost Sasha. And now, you have two brats in captivity, and you're probably going to undermine them, and that's when they're gonna strike. And bam, you're dead. Oh, and you still haven't gotten rid of Flock, the bad seed, that's most likely gonna lead to your doom. Zeke's right, ignorance is scary. You know what? They're starting to sound like the Malians. <gasps> no, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. We can't keep going back and forth like this. Just let Paradis team up with the other losing countries and they can all take down Mali. Just stop with this whole animal farm concept. We can't keep doing this. It's exhausting. <laughs>
Okay, this, this whole thing where we're still held in limbo on whether Zeke's good or not, haven't we been through enough? I really want him to be good at this point. Let Eren tell him everything. Dinah, their dad, everything. Zeke's gonna die in less than a year. Let him spend the rest of his remaining time as a good person. Stop making me doubt him. Because if he's just going to steal Eren again, I can't, okay? It's, it's, it's very Ross and Rachel. And the whole let's kidnap Eren thing has literally been done in every single season of the show. Eren's getting old. You're getting old. It's not fun anymore. Stop procrastinating and just end the bloody war. They do not look comfortable. Well, no wonder. Well, it looks like Yelena and Ko did a terrible job of teaching you guys. Because you're all still so <laughs> ignorant. Look at the bigger picture. You can't just take the guns that really aren't yours and threaten to shoot the people who have been so stinking nice to you. Uh, no. I think what you meant to say is, I'm a wrinkly drunk who never really did anything except for kiss this fat guy's ass <laughs> until I could finally get him out of the way for my own benefit. And then I stood on a wall for a bit and yelled a whole bunch of stuff that the people below me couldn't possibly hear. And now, now I'm gonna act like smart ass even though I'm really a dumbass. And I'm gonna kill all of you because I'm insecure about my knowledge, my power, my age. And then after y'all are gone, I'm gonna finally realize that I actually still don't know jack shit about anything. And I'm gonna regret my decision because you guys would have probably saved my ass if I had been a little less of a dick to you all. <laughs> what? That's definitely what he meant to say. So Levi then forces Zeke to live in that infamous forest. Oh shit. Why do I get the feeling that Zeke's given up all hope on Levi, Pixies, all the people who are honestly just letting the team down at this point? And Zeke's like, bro, are we gonna be on the same side or not now? Because if you don't cut this will they, won't they crap, I'm gonna teach these two kids how to overthrow you guys, and then you're all f <laughs> I don't know why. I could be majorly wrong about this, but I think Zeke's done with these guys being idiots and he's just gonna turn Falco and Gubby into titans. People are gonna be eaten. Someone, I don't know who, someone's gonna die. Oh my god, Gubby's so fucking feral. Stop, girl! Repent for your wrongdoings and go crawl into a hole. We love a self-aware human being. He's not perfect, but he's a good boy who wants to do good things. He just wants to party at the beach whenever he wants. He wants open access to unlimited amounts of salt. And he wants to live the rest of his very short life with his mentally ill friend, okay? He don't ask for much. He was talking to Annie this whole time! I wonder if he has feelings for Annie now. Maybe he liked her before? Maybe he gained those feelings when he ate Bertot. Who knows? I'd like to know. That ending image can't hurt me anymore. Since I'm so behind, I can watch episode 10 right now. Bye!